There's truly no place like the Hilltop. She's home to some of the most creative, ambitious, and entrepreneurial students to ever grace their respective industries. But I wanted to make a documentary about some of my schoolmates who are on the forefront of self-expression and making names for themselves in the fashion industry. I chose three of our campus's most inventive designers to discuss not only who they are and the stories behind their brands, but how their experiences at Howard have altered them, their businesses, and their personal development. Insignia MSA is a futuristic fashion label that provides high quality, ethically made garments for futuristic individuals. Insignia MSA's customers can feel morally good about purchasing our clothing and that they are not supporting the vandalization of the environment or workers' lives involved in manufacturing. And our customers are truly making a statement from physically wearing our eccentric garments to symbolically representing sustainability within fashion. Hi, my name is Maya Avery. I'm a senior biology major, chemistry minor from New York. I'm the creator and designer for my brand, Insignia MSA. Tell us a bit more about how you started Insignia. At the end of my freshman year, I started learning how to sew in my dorm room and making I was making these like stacked leggings and selling them to like other people on campus. And then COVID hit and we had to go home. I feel like being in quarantine allowed me to just focus on like my skills and developing my skills. And that's when I realized that I had more of a talent that could be more than like a hobby or side hustle. So that's when I developed um, my sewing into a business. Being involved in fashion and even business was kind of foreign to me. I had never learned about either of these things. So just taking that leap and trusting myself was kind of discouraging because it was like uncertain for me. What would you say your inspiration is? Yeah, honestly, um, I always have a hard time answering this question because I feel like I don't necessarily draw inspiration from like one thing, but myself, I guess. I feel like I've done a really good job at like expressing myself through mm -hmm. my clothes. I don't like to necessarily look at other people's ideas for inspiration to create from. So everything I create comes like strictly from my own thoughts, like originally myself. Other people making a difference in the world inspires me to just keep doing what I'm doing. Growing up as a dancer, I would always be so excited for the times that we got to pick our costumes. That's what really brought the performance together was the clothing and the whole look. So it just made sense looking back for me to have an interest in fashion. It's just important to be conscious of everything that you're doing, like how it affects the world and other people. Fashion, I think it's one of the top polluters um, in the environment because there's so much waste, like so much water goes into even dyeing clothes, dyeing jeans uses gallons of water for like one pair of jeans. I definitely have received negativity on social media towards my brand. Everything is made to order. Therefore, it does take a little bit more time because I'm choosing to make these items ethically. And some people just have a hard time understanding why they can't get it the next day but it's not fast fashion and some people even would hate on my clothing as the originator and say that they would rather purchase my original designs from like aliexpress because it's cheaper which is crazy to me being a biology major learning how i can implement that into fashion to reduce waste i always want to continue that because it's important My brand is based on redefining reality. And inspiring others to pursue their passions. And use their passions to have a positive effect in the world. My name is Israel Yanir, and the name of my fashion label is Hubane. I would say I started making clothes actually in high school. I never really had like parents that were just gonna just splurge on me with like designer. I saw the kids, you know, wearing Supreme, BBC, Ben Trill, 
and babe and, and I was like shit how can I have my own like because I knew I had the style but I was like I don't have the budget to make to get that stuff so um, I ended up going to thrift stores and going to like H&M and finding clothes that look like good silhouettes and then using them as like a canvas to flip them through like deconstructing them distressing them and painting on them and like I did it on some of my shoes too like Jordans and folks were like well you're messing them up you're messing them up but on my it was never messed up because I made them um, one of one for me. In my freshman year of college, I was kind of bored because I wasn't playing basketball anymore. So I was just like, let me just start drawing on clothes. Like I was listening to music, like a lot of Cardi leaks, and I was like inspired by that. And I was looking at like what Bari and Virgil were doing, and I was just like, I'm just gonna, this, I may get something out of this, let me just keep doing it. And then I just, I really fell in love with it. I ended up staying up till like 5 a.m. every morning Shit, sometimes missing class because I was sleeping like I realized that this is something that I really loved and something I really wanted to pursue so I just kept doing it and kept experimenting with different things. I'm originally from Atlanta and in Atlanta it's like we have a lot of creatives that are you know very not just in like one lane but also in Atlanta you have a lot of people that like to criticize. It's constantly you know just getting on me for being different. It's something that I needed because now as I'm starting to gain more recognition there's people that love my stuff and there's people that hate my stuff, but I love both because hate is another version of love and I'd rather people feel something when they see my art than not feel anything at all. It's causing their minds to open, it's causing them to see boundaries being pushed. And that's something that I want whoever interacts with my brand to feel. And if they feel negative, that's cool. I'm really influenced by the music that I listen to and the music that I grew up listening to. Um, I grew up listening to artists like Michael Jackson, Kanye, well, Ye, Cardi, David Bowie, Erica Badu, all artists that really defined their own path and defined their own lane to create a world that inspired other artists after them, which is something that I um, aspire to do as well. I aim to, you know, create the future with what I do. But this material is called Vernum material. When I created um, Vernum, I was working on the material for like two years and um, I wanted to like perfect it and make it flexible, waterproof um, and not use non-toxic chemicals so that it could be, you know, it could be a product that lasted for a long time and it was safe. And then after I kept doing it and then I started like discovering new ways of implementing it, um, it just, it just can't, went up from there and people were just like really interested in it. I really wanted to like combine the disciplines of sculpting with painting and fashion as well. I want to like break the wheel. So that's just something I aim to do and just really innovate and continue to break the wheel. One time I found myself a little discouraged about my business when I wasn't getting the amount of sales that I wanted and I kept trying different things and I kept making collections and then dropping them, having this major rollout and it just wasn't having the result that I was planning for. But it just took me just being consistent and trying new things and continuously experimenting to find things that would work for me and help elevate my brand to a whole nother level. One of the best things about this oh, week was getting a lot of orders that I was yes. trying to get out. Yeah, that was a nice load off. Good. And what are you most excited about for today? Yeah. Well, I just dropped a new pair of glasses. Burnham mm -hmm. Dawn was kind of like the idea I had where I decided that I wasn't going to um, fall into the usual like simulation of getting a regular nine to five job because I'm a business major so like that that path is direct mm -hmm. and I was like nah I'm not finna just get into that so it's kind of like the the mindset of like I'm gonna chase my passion I'm gonna chase my dreams that kind of made me want to not only just do clothes but do things that could um, go well with other people's clothes as well because I want I want to inspire other people to start their own labels too if they want to so um, like certain accessories like my boots and glasses can go really well um, with like other brands uh, clothing as well. So it's kind of just something I wanted to like connect um, a community. How does it feel to have such big celebrities wearing your stuff like Lil Nas X and Erykah Badu? Feels very surreal. Feels very surreal and I feel very blessed. Well I know I'm blessed um, because a lot of these things I saw happening kind of like it's crazy because like I'll have dreams about me meeting someone that's that I've like really looked up to growing up and like me working and collabing with that person to see it actually happen in real life 
it's just it's really crazy it's like what what the hell is going on like but it's just like it just shows me that god is just like there's no there's no limit to what can be done and there's so much more i can do Taste is a fashion brand that specializes in custom designs and one-of-one -one pieces. The brand is sustainable. All pieces are handmade by me, Taylor Tayana. The goal of my art is to reflect originality, diversity, and creativity through fashion. I often work with unconventional materials and uniques that make statements. Taste customers are bold, passionate, sexy, and eco-friendly. <laughs> Hi, my name is Taylor Tayana and I am the creator of Taste. I started Taste about two years ago and um, I got the idea to start my brand during the pandemic. It started with a shirt and I showed my friends and they really, um, they really liked it. And they're like, you should sell these pieces. Like they're super unique, they're super original. And so that gave me the idea to start my brand. I have always been a creative person. I was a very creative child. I remember when I was young, my mom bought me this art set, and my favorite thing was drawing with oil pastels. I eventually moved on to watercolors, and as I got older, my passion and love for art only expanded. I played instruments, I danced, I was into theater. So I haven't always been a designer, but I have always been an artist. I started designing when I wanted to find pieces that I couldn't find in stores. And I felt like I had ideas in my head that weren't being executed in the fashion world. So I wanted like to bring them to life. This collection was kind of inspired by my like um, upbringing in Japan mm -hmm. and also by my upbringing here at Howard Art HBCU Cultures. I kind of wanted to give it like a fun, young, school girly mm -hmm. feel. Yeah. And so that's like why I lean towards incorporating collared t-shirts. Yeah, and I wanted the denim to be on like with a white canvas. Mm -hmm. So the details and intricacies of that could pop more. How did you end up in Japan? My mom was in the Air Force and we moved there when I was around 12 or 13. And I finished middle school there, I went to high school there, and my family was still stationed over there when I came to Howard. Japan is super aesthetically pleasing. The architecture is amazing. The food is great. The fashion is phenomenal. And so it's a lot of like inspiration in your daily life. You can walk around and just be super in awe of everything you see. So I feel like it's a perfect place to kind of cultivate an artist. What advice would you give to other student business owners, how are students or not? Yeah, I would say to just focus on your goal and don't feed into all the distractions because they are temporary. Don't just look at Howard as your audience because you're going to graduate from Howard in a very short amount of time and everyone's going to be doing their own thing. So really look at the world as your target audience. Networking is key. I've learned that Everybody like has their role in an artistic project, and if you want something to look professional, it's really hard to do it without models, photographers, makeup artists, just an entire crew. So find your crew because you're going to need help. How do you feel altered since the founding of your brand? <laughs> well, I feel like a, like a much more confident person. Since I started my business, I've learned to make clothes for the person that I've always wanted to be. And I feel like that's boosted my confidence a hundred times. And it's also allowed me to kind of want to make other people feel more confident too, because I know what it was like not always being this way. When I first started, I wanted to, you know, just get to a certain point where I was meeting the people that I looked up to. But now it's the point to where I want to inspire the people that I look up to and inspire others and hold the door open for others after me as well. I feel more purposeful. It feels good to be doing something that you're passionate about, that you feel like you're talented at, and um, that like it creates a lot, a lot of opportunity for growth. What can we expect from your brand in the future? Like, what is, what's up next for Insignia? Kind of just going with the flow and just knowing that everything that's meant for me is going to come to me that's positive for me also. So 
I can't say anything definite, but I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Wherever it takes me, that's where I'm going to be. So I don't just see Hugh Bain as a fashion label. Actually, I see it more, more so as like an artisanal fashion house because I aim to like make pieces that are like more so art that you could just that could stand alone so um, I want to like go more into the art gallery art show type type path but combine that with fashion so I want to get more into creative direction I recently did a project called the color series and it wasn't so much focused on um, styling and fashion it was like really about the creative concept and what I wanted to portray with the project so in the future, I plan to do more projects like that, and I do want my brand to be um, known for like more well-rounded artistry versus just focusing on fashion, because I have a lot of creative ideas that don't um, always involve the clothing being the center of everything. How has being a Howard student altered your path, do you think? I think being a Howard student has put me in a realm with other like super talented and amazing young black creatives. And I'm grateful for that. And it pushes you because you see everybody like doing their thing and doing it so well. And it's inspiring to be around. It's like beautiful to be a part of. So I feel blessed.